Join us as we follow the moon. Today we want to take you a tour of Space Coast RV Park. And the first thing I want to show you is up here you'll see on the signs David Henderson Way and Playa del Sol. Our GPS brought us in as Indian Oaks Drive, I think. Indian Oaks was the name. There is a subdivision back here called Indian Oaks, but nowhere out here does it say that. So when you're coming into the park, make sure what you really want is David Henderson Way. We're going to turn into the park here, and you'll see the sign here for Indian Oaks to the right, but the park is straight on back, and Space Coast is an encore park. Uh, we're coming here through our trails collection with our Thousand Trails membership, and it's broken up into kind of like three sections. Right here in the very front, as you come in on the right-hand side, there are uh, camping spaces. On the left is the um, RV storage lot. This is one of the prettiest parks, and I know I say that almost every time, but I don't all, all every time, but this is really a great one. I really have liked this. Now when you come in, there are spots in here for RVs to pull through. There's three of them that come in here. And you'll see right ahead of us is the pool area. We'll give you a couple nice close-ups of that. There are restrooms there within the pool facility as well as over along the side of the building. You can also bring your RV on up here by the office and you'll see the night check-in there. That's where all of the check-in paperwork is for everyone. And right here by the stop registration sign, there is a U.S. Postal Service drop. So you've got a mail drop right there handy. The park does have propane on site if you do need a propane fill. Even with the sign that says, we fill motorhomes, which is always encouraging. And there is a dump station right here also. Some of these streets are one way. Oh, our neighbors are leaving. <laughs> sites and some permanent sites mixed together. There's some little short legs. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of dogs in here of all different sizes. You can tell some of the ones in this site, even in RVs, are here longer. They're probably here for the winter. We had a pretty good rain here last night, and uh, there is some water standing. It does seem like it goes down pretty quick. Right ahead of us is a compactor dumpster, but you don't have to worry about that too much. This park comes through every morning. Have your trash along the curb by 9 a.m., and they pick it up for you, which is really nice. And it's not a couple days a week, it's every morning. That's right, every single morning. The little dog walk area here around the, the water on our right. I think you've already seen a lot of waivers. This is a very friendly park. Here we're starting to see a few more of the, the permanents. 
one up here is so cute with the little thatched awning and the flip-flops all the way around the, uh, the patio. It's really cute. She sits out there and, and greets people and says she just does that to make people smile. Now there is a little lake area here and the it's being used right now. Fountain area and there's a little area out there that uh, the turtles like to sun themselves on. But uh, up in here there is a um, little community room. It does have a kitchenette in it that is not currently available for use. And the uh, uh, but it does have seating and we have seen it being used some. There's also a laundry area back here didn't mention but in that front building there was a laundry area also and then on the end of the building there are two private bathrooms and two private showers there's also a little shuffleboard area in the back now the, the back most part of the park is all RVers and I tend to think this is probably more for people who are here shorter term, although our neighbor has been here on a, I think they said a one year contract yeah. with uh, uh, NASA doing uh, work on a new uh, place where the rockets lift off from. Launching pad, <laughs> Launching there, pad. We go. there we go. Now that's a good spot to actually watch um, the rockets go up. Absolutely, we got some, some pretty decent pictures just from the front of our motorhome going right over that wall. We'll come on down around this side. They're a little tight, a little marshy. And it's funny, I was telling Kathy today, the two things I don't normally like in a park is when the sites are tight and when they hold water and they are on the marshy side. But for some reason, it doesn't seem like it bothers me at all at this park. And it's probably because of the uh, a lot of the, the attitude of the people here. Everybody's friendly. And because you're only a few minutes away from the beach. That's right. And it does seem to, uh, with, the, with the beach, uh, the breeze coming off of the ocean that oh look at that that's cute mm -hmm. that um, the, the areas dry off a little quicker than they do in, inland and um, this is probably a little more sand so it goes down quicker I mean I'm guessing yeah but it makes sense now we're over on the other uh, side of the park I guess this would be the west side of the park heading back towards the front and we're back in that middle section of the park again where there's a, a mix of permanent and uh, uh, RVs one of the things I noticed too is that where we were they're angled so um, that even though they're a little tight as far as width, that you pull forward enough and um, they're, they're staggered as far as like being where they're setting. So you don't feel like you're quite as on top of each other. I don't feel like I'm sitting on the sofa looking in my neighbor's kitchen so much. Yeah, we've been places like that. Yeah. Now, this is what I was talking about. Oh, we've got shuffleboard courts over here. I love how the benches are all the pastel Florida colors. And then over here, just by the RV storage lot, is another big community building. And we'll show you a little bit more of the close-ups on this one. There were people in there the other night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there had been some activities. It's kind of nice to see things are definitely not returned to normal, but things are starting to become a little bit more of what I'm hoping our new normal will be. That's right. So 
So, all in all, Kathy, what do you think of the park? I love it. I really do. I, I am tickled to death that we're going to be able to come back and stay a little longer. This was a short stay, but um, definitely going to come back to this one. Yeah, we've only been here for a week, and uh, you know, with everything there is to do, and we'll be doing a video here uh, in the next week or so on different things to do over in this area. It is Rockledge, Florida, which is it's one of these areas along the East Coast where everything kind of connects to everything else. Cocoa Beach, Merritt Island, Vieira, uh, all those areas are right here and Rockledge is right in the middle of it. So you're, you're close to everything and we'll show you a little bit more on, on an upcoming video about what some of that everything includes too. But uh, it's kept us busy, it's kept us where we've been doing filming like this to uh, to get ready but we haven't done any editing and putting together and we'll be doing that um, over the next couple of weeks so it's definitely been uh, a highlight this is our first trip into this park uh, we were only here for seven days and uh, we're already thinking about uh, when we can uh, figure out in the schedule to get back in now I will say of all the Encore parks that we have uh, booked over the last couple of years, this is the first park that we've tried to come into during the winter and we were told it was full and no vacancies. Uh, the following month we were able to make these reservations. So, and that was doing that at 60 days out. So if this is something that you like the look of the park and you think it would be something that uh, you would like to come visit, make sure to make your reservations as early on as what you can. Um, and I think you'll love it. I know we have. We sure have. So with that, we're going to uh, end our tour. We hope you've enjoyed. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And uh, if you uh, did enjoy this, be sure and leave us a thumbs up. We sure appreciate that. And otherwise, we look forward to finding you as we follow the moon. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you've enjoyed it. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel and be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when we have new videos listed. Also, be sure to check out our blog at followthemoon.us and also our Facebook page at followthemoon and on Instagram at followthemoontravel. Thanks.